Hey guys, it's Justice from Psycon. Today I wanted to show you guys an easy craft that you can make using only items that you found in your backyard. Right here I have some rose petals, some twigs, leaves, and other flowers that I found only on the ground. The only materials that you need to make this craft is your nature materials, a piece of paper, and a glue stick. I picked out some markers just in case I wanted to fill in any blanks in the end. Then you're going to want to set up the picture that you decide to make. I chose to do a butterfly. Then you're going to want to glue your picture together. When you're doing this, make sure that you are pressing your nature materials into the glue for about 30 seconds to make sure it's going to hold. You guys, another important thing is make sure you guys are using only materials that you find on the ground. You don't want to pick the leaves or the petals off of flowers that are already growing and alive. All right, so this was just a really easy craft that you can make out of materials you find in your backyard. Um, I hope you guys are staying creative, get artsy with this craft, um, stay safe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hi guys, I'm Cecilia, and I'm going to teach you how to make a paper butterfly just like this one. So for this project, you're going to need scissors, a piece of paper, and a piece of string. Our first step will be to cut this piece of paper in half. So we're going to first fold it down like this. Make sure both sides are even. When you see that they are both even, just make your crease just like so. And then we have two even sides with a crease in the middle. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut both halves. Try to cut as evenly as possible be very difficult. There we go. So here we have our both halves. We're going to work um, on each half individually. So we're going to start with the top half of the butterfly. So let's set that piece aside for now. Uh, and then we have this. Okay. So first step for the top half will be to fold in all four corners to the inside of the rectangle. So try to make them as evenly as you can. So by you can even fold it like this, boys. Almost like you're making a little paper airplane. And then just try to get them as even as possible. So there's that part. And now we fold this half, or these two sides. There we go. So you got this kind of shape here. We're going to fold that in half now. And you should now have sort of a little boat looking shape. Now comes kind of a tricky part. We're going to fold this in sort of an accordion form. So it's going to go up and down and up and down. So just follow along with me. So we're going to fold up. And you'll notice that this leaves a little tiny triangle on each side. So if you could see a little tri a little tiny triangle on each side, you're doing the right thing. So that's the first fold. The second fold goes down. And again, you form this tiny triangle there. And then one more time. Now we're going to flip this around and do the same thing on this side. So fold up, 
then fold down. And fold up one more time. So now we're going to take this and fold it in half like this. And there you have it. You have the top half of your butterfly. So as you can see, it start to take form now. So now that we have our top half, we're going to work on our bottom half. So we'll put that side now. So here we have our second half of paper. And this time we're going to fold it in half hamburger style or hamburger fold. So we're going to take the top part like this and fold it down. Okay. All right. And then we're going to fold it one more time the same way. Go. All right. So similar to the other half, we're going to fold it like an accordion. So we're going to start with this side. We're going to fold up once. Then down and then up one more time okay then we're going to flip it around fold up fold down and then fold up one more time and then we have our bottom half but in order for it to be very visible we're going to fold this in half Kind of like we did with the other one. And now you can see the bottom part of the wings. And if we put them together, you can see our beautiful butterfly take its shape. Alright, so in order to keep both halves together, we're going to use our string now. So you can take the string and make a tight knot between the two halves. So as tight as you can and then try to make a double knot so make another knot as well so that they don't come apart. This there we go and maybe just spread out the wings a little so you can see your creation here and there we have it our beautiful paper butterfly another thing you can do is make several of them so here's another one and another one and make your strings nice and long so cut the string very very long and maybe tie it to a stick or a branch or a uh, chopstick, any sort of just stick object. Um, in this case, you could even use a pencil, just like I have here, and just tie them to the pencil or to the stick, and you can make your own butterfly mobile. You can uh, hang it somewhere so it can just kind of flow in the wind, and it'll look very beautiful. So this has been our craft. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your new creations.